What is a Perfect 100 IQ Club? It's Dakar here with another banger of a game. This one, we're going to be Riven Top up against the Viego. Viego, uh, he did get his little sustain nerf, so I don't know how strong he's going to be in this matchup because uh, he wasn't that great to begin with, so I, th I just don't think it works that well. Or maybe it just takes, like, perfect gameplay. I don't know. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, Riven into Viego, and you guys are going to see what it's like for once. For once on, on my content, on one of my videos, you're going to see what it's like when my jungler just god mode camps all game for me. And it's just, it makes me, makes me come, make my heart come, to say the least. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for clicking my video, right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, don't forget to donate super like super comment etc 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 do those things do them do them now money money me money me please money me now but yeah thanks for watching and uh i hope you enjoy the show what's up everybody hello everybody oh wait time to crack a beer just recorded that other one there's nothing to drink in our house except for like sugary shit. Water, obviously. I constantly chug water. Nothing of flavor though. Well, that I could just open. Cause that's a lie. Why well, I can make some tea, which I probably do after the game. But uh or after recording this. But can't do that. And get it recorded. At the same time, right? Don't want to get up and do that. So I'll just have a nice cold Bud Light. Bud Light Ace. This Bud Light Ace brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. <laughs> Rich up. God, I hope that doesn't, uh, what is it, censor my stupid little YouTube video. Sitting here talking about alcohol. And what's it? So right here, uh, bone plating is probably not the best to take into Viego. Not gonna lie, I think the bone plating because he he pokes pretty pretty well, right? He does a really good job of poking you, so he's gonna get that bone plating off of you quite quite frequently, right? Like whereas uh, Riven doesn't really get the poke, and when she does go for an all in, you want to have that bone plating up so she doesn't get to kill your ass. So I think I was wrong to take bone plating here. I kind of just uh, autopilot take shield bash bone plating on a ribbon. Don't think that's optimal here. Oh yeah, an ice cold bud. Gosh, that sure is refreshing. The uh, oh. Bud Light, always brewed using the choicest hops, best barley, malt, and rice. And rice. Okay, then. It's beer, and it's not super heavy. That's what I enjoy about it. Because I do love beer. I'm not going to lie. I just love the flavor, man. I just love it. You know what else I love? Granola. Yeah, sorry, yesterday's video was far high qu higher quality than this one's uh, shaping up to be. <laughs> Hopefully I make up for it with uh, some ribbon pop-off, huh? Did he just teleport? That was on yesterday's VOD, too. Someone teleported in the uh, bot tri brush. Weird. It's all this, uh, all this liberalism. These fools don't want to. Oh. Says, don't fuck it. KK, not moving. These libbies don't want to conform to the laws of physics. Over here writing their own rules and such. There's graves. Why is graves up here? Go away, Graves. Go away, you dick. 
in Langink. So right here, this is where it all begins. This is where it all starts. It may, it may be a bit boring, right? Pretty boring first five and a half minutes, especially in an Ignite lane. So you're going to see uh, me kick the shit out of Happy right here. Nice one, bud. But what's this? The counter gank. Fuck you, Graves. Go away, man. Graves, no one wants you up here, bro. Boop. All right, all right. You're fine. You're fine. You can hang out. That's fine. Yeah, they, uh, so I think I had them in my game prior. And they banned Rengar, or maybe two games prior to this uh, in, in the day. Which is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very first... No, 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 no. So very first game of the day, I had another guy named Cry Ignore. I think, right? Because this one's name is Cry Now. So I had Cry Ignore. He was my ADC. And so I thought it was the same guy. Like, it, it just in my mind, I thought it was the same guy. Because I've had him a few games over the past three or four days. And... Uh... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on my team. Uh, he was Echo, right? In one of the videos uh, two days prior to this video, it should be. But he was on my team the game prior to this. And he's like, go Riven, man. Your Riven is the best. Go, Please go Riven. Your Riven is goaded. Someone else on the team was like, please go Riven. Go Riven. And then I was like, uh, I picked Rangar. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. Uh, of course, our team fucking ran it. We had, like, a, a win trading fucking, like, mid or something. I don't specifically remember that. I definitely... I recorded it, but didn't get to use it. Or we had someone trying to win trade. Some shit. But I also pinged him. I was like, dude, I just carried you on Riv or, uh, Rengar. But it wasn't him, it was the other guy. Yeah, long, long, drawn-out, rambling, incoherent story later. The guy was, is the wrong guy. It was a different person. But they both have fucking Cry as their names. Like, who, who picks that? Who picks, who, what is this? Cry now. Ignore Cry. Cry Lubricant. Boop. It's me and my boyfriend hanging out. Got kind of hungry, so I started to pout. A sword with only Dang, that's an old copy pasta now. Wow. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. That's uh. Second visit from my my lovely fiddlesticks. Now I, I saw three of these fuckers down a bot, right? They made a play bot, so I expected Graves was gonna be down there too. But no, this motherfucker's up here getting ready to kick my ass. Luckily, I got enough gold off of the the like backline and stuff off of proxying the wave. Luckily, I got enough for my CDR boots. CDR boots are a mega power spike on uh, on Riven. <coughs> and Ash got spoon-fed that kill by the Volbear. Volbrangles. So this Volley, this guy's an asshole. He was griefing the hell out of this. Like, and he griefed another game later in the, uh, in the day. For those of you, you who watch the stream, you probably remember. But this Volley, he goes AP. And then the next game later, he did a similarly like useless pick. It's just annoying, man. Come on, bro. Poor Viego is just like, dude, I don't want to like I don't want to deal with this. Please get out of my lane, fiddle. Can you fuck off, please, fiddle? And right here, he can tax all he wants. I don't care. You can leech, you can tax like you have you have successfully ganked for me 3 times. Boomingly successful ganks, might I add, so. Yeah, we uh we're happy to have him leech us. Of course, that doesn't mean we want the, the rift here. We want the rift to be used at mid, because mid is the best lane to open up, as well as uh, I'm going to be able to take this turret regardless. 
right? Like the turret will die. I'll get the plates. I'll get the turret. I'll get all that. We don't have to kill it now. We got another four minutes to go, right? So may as well try to work on mid because mid is not only is mid like more important to take out, but it's also harder to take out. We poke him out, get the level up. We got him nice and low, but wanted to uh, cut him off a little better there. I needed to use my my Q, um, my Q three when he when he went through me right there. Like I dodged the W, or maybe it was just an instant little tiny tiny stun because it it, um, it stuns based on how long he channeled it, but. We needed to cut him off so that his dash didn't go through us. We needed to cut him off so the dash didn't get him under that turret. So I got two more autos before he got to uh, get under the turret there. Because if I got to harass him enough, I would have been able to dive him after that. Right here, that's nice. He loses the plate. He does not get that. And they're open up a uh, bot lane. That's perfect, too. You just want to, you don't want to be opening top side here. Not on that, that kind of timer. Not when you're winning that hard, right? Like if you're if you're losing top, opening the the turret is okay. It's not the uh, not the worst decision you can make, but opening a, a giga winning lane, especially one where the fiddle is like, basically he can do no wrong. Like he could just gets kills for free, right? You don't want to open it yet. But enough about that. Let's talk about Rampart. We find DBA says worth two turrets and a ton of plates, but we did give up three kills. Of course, they got the uh, the entire turret, and I got the entire top turret. We are uh, stacking up on this gold. Team is doing very, very well. Team's doing a damn good job. Even with me inting on that proxy, right? <clears throat> My mindless proxy. I kind of it was a bit autopilot because I didn't see Graves. I just figured, oh, Graves is gonna be bot side, but he had he had his creep timers. Top side. So it just wasn't that good. He gets the flash. I don't think I should have thrown my ult at him at all. I think I should have saved the R to throw it at this wave here. So I could clear it quicker. We clear quick as fuck anyway, but... Instead of dashing to him, I would have dashed to the creep wave. Would have saved maybe three seconds, you know? Would have gotten to the next wave a little quicker. Would have had it under turret a little quicker too, for a, a better bounce, but it's not the decision that I did make, so whatever. Just moving. Wanna get that W off. And this poor bowl of brangles. Oh. Yorick Burdison. The armored bear. Dude, is that the coolest character in Golden Compass? I think he is. I think he is. Actually, come, uh, come to think of Golden Compass, there's a second season out now, isn't there? Of the the new live, the newest live action on HBO. This is an advertisement stream, by the way, chat. Like, I'm just, uh, I'm just advertising all these things. Like, I'm not even going to talk about the game. I'm just gonna. Slowly mention a whole bunch of corporate nonsense. Do you like that? Where's my, where's my granola? Give me more granola. Give me more beer. Miss that wall hop. I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying to do that wall hub. I didn't even care. See? Another wall hop I did perfectly. This one I was trying. I want to flash in on the Aphelios because Ash can follow up with her arrow and we could just one shot him. But he's not letting me. He's uh he's playing nice and careful. He's he's being smart about his positioning, right? He's not floating right side, he's floating dead center. Near his uh near his support and 
They're just chilling. They're just piss cancer chilling, right? We're going to walk up. We're going to try to siege this down with the team. They're afraid of it. They are very afraid of fiddlesticks, right? Because I walked up and killed that ward. So he could be where I came from, right? Same with we've got the pink on left side mid. He could be from anywhere. So the enemy team is like... Uh, they're being intelligent here and avoiding uh, walking up too close. <clears throat> he smited that thing. Or he just lasted. I'm not sure which one he did. Did she land the arrow? No. Nope. But, uh... Ah, uh, this is a mistake from the the uh, Wukong right here. He doesn't flash. Just flash forward, bro. You would have the knockup, man. He's so... Uh, yeah, I, and then I would have Q3'd him. Uh, God damn you, Wukong. And now here I've got to tank this whole fucking thing. I'm, I lose 1,300 HP because of you, Wukong, because you don't want to use your flash. You little bastard. You selfish bitch. But yeah. The uh, Graves used his smite on the Gromp, which would have been just a little bit of HP off of Gromp and the smite. He used it before I used any of my damage. Of course, I ignited him too, which would have heal mitigated, but it's still smite heals a lot and the Gromp kill heals a lot. So it's just a tiny bit of HP he was missing out on. Anytime you are last hitting a wave on Riven, you want to Q dance through the wave so that you hit as many of the creeps as possible with each Q, right? Because the Q deals a fuckload of damage. It's all your wave clear. Lose our bone plating, and yeah, each time, man, each time I'm looking at it, I'm thinking probably wasn't the smartest to take. Either second wind, because second wind is always just incredible. Either second wind, or maybe... Uh, uh, Felios, you bitch! Oh, Soraka could ult me, huh? What? She could ult me, that would have healed me, I would have gotten the triumph, and then I had my gore drinker up? Mm -hmm. I might have been able to kill that guy, Soraka. Soraka, you've been a naughty girl. Oh no, he had he had executioners. Nope. So I would have barely healed anything off of all three of those things. Never mind, never mind, Soraka. You're a smart, you're a smart, capable woman. You're a beautiful, beautiful unicorn. Man, look at Wukong too. 8 0 and 4. He's popping off. He's popping off. Bot lane though, they kind of got, they got their soup shit in. Somebody pissed in their soup and then fucking threw it in their face. Yeah, dude, she went Eclipse, or uh, Eclipse, uh, Crack and Slayer on the Ash, man. Ah. Ah. Call me Jiminy Cricket, Rickety Cricket. Holy mackerel! Really though, I don't like, I don't like the Kraken Slayer, man. I mean, now that I've built it a few times, I understand, like, maybe you guys enjoy, I, I thought he might double back to me once I killed the ward and, and showed that I was walking to the wall, like a wall hop. There he is. Yeah, he was being patient until I showed, I think. So it doesn't matter what choice I made, he was just gonna, he was just gonna wait. Damn. I was hoping, though, that he would walk through the try, assuming I was wall hopping over the wall, right? We knew he was there, so it was pretty, pretty free. Boom, there goes there. AP Volibear. Nice, Voli. Have you ever seen a Volibear get one shot? Like, come on, man. You're an idiot, dude. Volibear's strength is in his cooldowns and the fact that he gets to stun you, he gets to use his E, which has incredible base damage, as well as his W. That he gets to use three, four, five times per team fight. If you go AP, you don't get to use your W ever. Your E, which is super telegraphed, doesn't even land on us half the time, man. Like, that guy was griefing, bro. Griefing. Ugh. Griefing, bro. This Bud Light AP Volibear brought to you by Bud Light. I do think uh, Battle Bunny might be a problem for me. So anytime I play on default, it just feels it just feels more clean, man. It feels more clean. Uh, 
This Bud Light wall hop brought to you by Bud Light and Hauser Bush. Bud Light, they got the hops and bar best barley malt with rice. Yeah, it feels way smoother. It feels like <clears throat> man. I wish every skin were equal on a league, right? Cause like it just it doesn't feel as good. Like the default right here is amazing. Why is Battle Bunny pay to lose, bro? Just get to go in on this idiot. The one shot the Vola Bear again. One shot a Vola Bear. I'm gonna say it is. It just doesn't sound right, you know. Let's be his ass, Schmoobin. Oh, Riven, you goddess, man. Love this champ. Oh, I love Riven. I love Riven. I love Riven so much. Now, the one thing that Battle Bunny has going for it over the default skin is the cosplayers. Yeah. They look hot as hell. They look a lot better. We can all, we can all admit that. Everyone agrees. No one disagrees on the whole earth. The whole world. Nobody disagrees, right? Boop. Stand behind Brom. <clears throat> Can't really do much here, huh? Ugh, quit shooting me. That wasn't on me. Get out of town. I would have died anyway, right? But still, that didn't look like it was on me. Love is cruel. <laughs> I love Aphelios too. Or Aphelios, Viego. <laughs> I hate Aphelios. <laughs> the champ is whack. And if I run into one in top lane, man... I'm going to go all out. Just this once. Forgive me, Master. But I'm going to pound out this Aphelios. This ADC top playing piece of pig shit. Screen's black. I don't know what's going on here. Must have minimized to... Uh, Yeah, I was responding to like a supermodel probably, I think. Like she was DMing me, probably trying to like schedule like a, a meetup, you know. Just get together, you know, connect. I can't think of anyone else I would be typing to right here. Just can't think of anyone else that I would be messaging or minimizing to talk to. And that's the only rational explanation, you know. You guys, you guys know me. You know me, chat. You know me. <laughs> oh, God. Say bless you. Say bless you, chat. Jesus, when I burped on the, the audacity, it was... Uh, <laughs> the little sound wave was all weird looking. Boop. Here's the Volibear. 140 gold. Thanks, bud. Really appreciate that, that gold, man. Appreciate you fucking griefing this game and ruining it for everyone and just making it boring as hell, too. My spirit is not lost. Little cuck. So what's Volibear mid? OP. Graves opened his mouth. They're, they're over here victim blaming. That's victim blaming. You blame the Graves for, for typing. You don't blame the Graves for saying words. You blame the guy who griefed. Bully was inting. That's inting, man. You don't blame Graves for that. Graves didn't. Graves didn't go to his house and make him start building AP and be an asshole. Go Nasher's tooth, dude. It's not Graves' fault, man. Anyway, this fiddles was a god, and I love when people gank for me. The end. Brought to you by Bud Light Ace.
with barley and rice. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. You know I love you guys. I love you so much, Chet. You're the best community of any League of Legends community. Or just any community in the world. That is why you have a perfect 100 IQ. But yeah, <coughs> before I die, holy shit. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And uh, I'll see you on stream.